So these days, video conferencing is very much part of life. Whether it's talking to a relative, taking part in a multi-person business meeting, we all do it, it's become super common. For some reason, most of us haven't quite been able to nail the perfect setup. Sure, you can simply sit in front of your laptop and use the internal mic and camera, but that isn't exactly amazing quality. And as soon as it's more than just you in the room, that setup won't get you very far. But if you want anything beyond that, you're gonna find yourself introducing at least a higher quality webcam an external microphone, or even a full-blown mirrorless camera setup. And that's still assuming you're in a small room by yourself. Anyone who's ever been part of a larger meeting knows that it's almost always a pain in the neck to get everything to work properly. You're in some rented space, you're trying to give a presentation, so you attempt to hook up your computer to the big screen with some clunky conferencing webcam below it and a bunch of microphones around the table. Something is bound to go wrong and you find yourself troubleshooting for the next 15 minutes. The Kandao Meeting Ultra fixes that by offering an ultra portable plug and play solution that works just as well in a boardroom as it does on your kitchen table. So let's see what this thing can do. Let's ramble. Hold up. Hey, what is up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So yeah, when I say this thing is plug and play, I really do mean plug and play because you really don't need anything to run this system, not even a computer. Kandao's previous models worked on a similar principle of capturing everyone around the table, but they weren't true standalone devices as they still needed external equipment like a TV to work. The Kandao Meeting Ultra is truly an all-in-one setup. The camera system, microphones, double displays, and its own operating system, it's all built in. You can literally run an entire meeting just from this thing, which is one of the reasons the Meeting Ultra won the Innovation Awards at this year's CES. Now, just because you don't have to hook up your computer doesn't mean you can't. If you or anyone else in the room wants to quickly hook up their laptop to share a presentation or something, that's absolutely possible. Because in the base of this device, on both sides, you will find a whole host of ports and connections. On this side, you will find one USB-C in case you wanna hook up a computer for a hybrid collaboration, two times USB-A for peripherals like mouse and keyboard, and it has a micro SD card slot that supports up to one terabyte of storage, which can be used to record meetings. And being able to do that without additional recording software or equipment is a big plus for me personally, it sure beats frantically taking minutes during a meeting. On the opposite side, there are three HDMI ports that can be used to output to external monitors or to share the screen of your laptop. One additional USB-A port and the USB-C port for power and an ethernet port, but this is not just a regular ethernet port. This one supports power over ethernet, which means you can power this thing using just the ethernet cable. So you don't have to plug it into the wall as well. And that is super useful if you wanna mount it to a ceiling, for instance, which by the way is super easy because it comes with a quarter inch thread right in the bottom for easy mounting to tripods, ceiling mounts, and any other mount with a quarter inch screw. Now in those scenarios where the Meeting Ultra is ceiling mounted or on a tripod in the middle of a room, messing around with a bunch of cables is obviously not ideal. The good people at Kandao have thought about this as well, which is why the Meeting Ultra supports Wi-Fi 6 connectivity and you can even connect it to any 5G hotspot and yes, that does include your phone. And it supports both Miracast and AirDrop, so you can share your screen from pretty much any device over the air. It also runs Bluetooth 5.0 so you can connect your peripherals without making use of the USB ports as well. And that is of course super useful if you want to control the operating system but you're not within arm's reach of the touchscreen. And obviously it comes with a physical remote as well, so definitely no shortage of options. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Meeting Ultra has its own operating system. In fact, it runs on Android 12, which means it comes with Google Play, where you can download your communication apps of choice. Whether that's Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, Slack, Zoom, Skype, you name it, it's all there. Once you've logged into your favorite app, you can use it as you would on your phone, your tablet, or your computer. But with all the added functionality, the Meeting Ultra brings to the table. The most obvious feature being, of course, the amazing camera. If you're a regular to the channel, the design of the camera might actually look familiar to you. Not too long ago, I reviewed a very popular 360 action camera, which works in pretty similar ways, meaning the two lenses on either side of the camera shooting a field of view of at least 180 degrees, resulting in a full 360 degree view 
of a room. I remember getting a tour of the Microsoft office here in Brussels about seven or eight years ago, where they had this meeting room set up, which was basically half a meeting table stuck against a video wall. And on the other side of the ocean, people would sit in a similar room, so it would look like they actually shared a meeting room together. Now, I remember I was very impressed by that, and to see something very similar being available in this small of a form factor is just mind-blowing to me. The camera is powered by an 8-core CPU, 4-core GPU, and 6 tops NPU, and it uses their AI algorithm 4.0 to detect how many people are in the room and where they're located, and it will automatically frame them individually. So what that means is that the Meeting Ultra takes the two halves of the 360 panorama it records, and it chops it up into smaller angles, if you will, showing each individual person as if they had their own camera pointed right at them. The settings menu, which is accessible from any app, will give you a ton of options how you want the layout to look and how you want the meeting to be organized visually. For instance, gallery view will show individual participants, speaker view will focus on the main speaker obviously, and all attendee mode will show both halves of the room in full panoramic style, so you can literally see everybody around the table. You can even customize viewing angles manually during the meetings by swiping, pinching, and zooming. Eight microphones are capturing everyone at the table, and by using AI, it detects who's speaking and it can focus on that particular person. It can even follow the speaker around if they like to move around a bit. This works in a very similar way to Apple's center stage, whereby the camera is basically cropped in and the excess framing is then used to move around, which emulates actual camera movements. Now, of course, since this is a 180 field of view, which is huge, there's a lot of space to work with, so it actually looks like the camera is moving across the room. The actual camera quality is pretty impressive, especially considering the type of lens, because it delivers a 4K image at 30 frames per second. HDR also works really well, especially if you need to offset a very bright room or a poorly lit room. So the image is still good regardless of those conditions. And it doesn't matter who the speaker is because of the 360 microphone array that uses AI powered noise reduction, the audio will be crisp and clear. The two built-in 15.6 inch full HD touchscreen displays make it so that everybody around the table can see what is happening and they're tilt adjustable to up to 48 degrees. The 10 watt hi-fi speakers deliver clear audio output and with Android 12 being the operating system, managing the meeting will be easy and intuitive. By the way, there are some physical buttons on the unit as well, like a power button, volume and mute buttons. Now, obviously I'm here in my studio testing this thing all by my lonesome. So I haven't been able to test it in an actual board meeting myself, but as far as I can tell from having used this thing for a few weeks now, it works very well. The controls are very snappy and intuitive and the camera always seems to do exactly what I want it to. The sound quality is great. And I just can't get over the fact that you can literally pick this whole thing up take it with you, drop it on any meeting table, and boom, conference ready. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this thing. As always, links to everything in the description in case you wanna pick one up for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please give it one of these. It really does make a difference. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.